This video covers the following topics. Setup for Alberta Insurance, creating appointment and exam, patient billable charges, which is optional, creating insurance claim batch submission file, fixing errors when creating claim submission file, importing the payment remittance advice file, viewing posted payments from the patient profile and order screen, managing existing insurance claim submissions. To set up MyVision Express for Alberta Insurance Billing, start by going to File, Setup, Company Information. Start with the Location Settings tab by selecting the Insurance Type. Once Alberta is selected, you will have the option to delete any existing location services and insurance companies. New MyVision Express users who have not configured any services and insurances should click Yes at the prompt. This will remove any demo services and insurance companies that the program shipped with. Users who have already configured and set up their services should select the No option and manually remove duplicate services. You can then specify your facility number and functional center code. MVE automatically adds Alberta billable services, insurance and fee schedule when Alberta insurance type is selected. Next, go to the System Settings tab. In the Insurance section, Specify the default computer system file path where the insurance claim files will be saved. Save the changes. Next, let's set up the doctor information under File, Setup, Physician Resource In-house. Enter all the information for your physicians as registered with the Ministry of Health. The following fields are required for Alberta insurance claim submission. First and last name, business arrangement number, practitioner ID, prefix. Once you have saved these changes, you are now ready to begin billing Alberta insurance claims using MyVision Express. Now that you've completed your location and physician setup, you're ready to start creating appointments and exams for new and existing patients in MyVision Express. To create an appointment for a new walk-in patient, simply click on the calendar button then double click on the desired time slot. Next, you can click on the new button. This opens the patient profile where the patient's information can be entered. Next, you can select the desired physician and service and click OK. The appointment has now been created. Similarly, you can create an appointment for an existing patient by selecting the desired time slot in the calendar, then clicking on the existing button and searching for the patient using any of the search criteria. You can then select the desired physician and service and click OK to save the appointment. The doctor can access the exam module by clicking on the exam menu option. This will open the search exam screen where you can search for a patient using different search criteria. For scheduled patients, click on the appointments radio button and select the scheduled patient. You have the option to use a custom template for the exam or you can choose no template to load all the tabs in the exam screen. Under the assessment tab, you can specify the diagnosis and procedure. Note that the procedure is already selected from the appointment and populated into the exam. You can edit or add more procedures by double clicking on the procedure or clicking on the procedures button. You can also specify a modify if needed. Once the exam is completed you can save and close the exam. In some cases a patient may wish to purchase an item after their exam has been performed or some charges may be patient's responsibility. In that case, click on the quick order icon, select the patient, and add the order items. To add exam services to the order, simply click on the exam button in the order screen, then select the exam to be linked to the order. 
This will populate the exam charges, diagnoses, and exam ID on the order. Any non-billable charges will be the patient's responsibility and will be excluded when the Alberta insurance submission file is created. This is an optional step and does not need to be performed if all charges are covered under Alberta insurance. Creating the claim file automatically creates the order for Alberta Insurance Billable Services. You are now ready to start creating your insurance claims. This is typically performed at the end of the day. To create the insurance claim submission file, go to File, Batch, Alberta, Submit Claims. Select the physician and click on Create Claims. This will create claims for any unbilled Alberta services. Any errors that need to be addressed will be shown in the review column. If there are no errors to review, you can click on the Create File button and the submission file will be created and saved on your computer in the specified location. The claim file that will be created can then be uploaded to the Ministry of Health. You can also print a submission report or print it later from the Manage Claim screen. Now we will look at an example of an error that may appear before the submission file is created and go through the steps needed to fix the error. In the review column, you can see that this patient's health number is missing. Double clicking this claim opens the exam and from the exam you can access the patient's profile by clicking on the patient icon at the top right of the screen. You can then input the correct health number and save the changes. Then go back to the Submit Claim screen and click on the Refresh button. The Review column does not show any errors now and you can click on the Create File button to create the claim submission file. To import the Remittance Advice file, go to File, Batch, Alberta, Reconciliations. You can then browse to the location where the remittance file is saved and select it. If a claim is not paid, the reason for non-payment will be shown in the explanatory column. Errors can be fixed by double-clicking on the claim. You can also view a remittance advice summary report by clicking on the details button. Payment history can be viewed from the history tab of the patient profile under the orders subtab. To view payment details, including reason for partial payment, rejection, etc., click on the Show Summary button and double-click on the order. In the order, click on the Payment button and double-click on the payment to view payment details. To view and manage existing Alberta claims, go to File, Batch, Alberta, Manage Claims. From this screen, you can view all your existing generated claims and filter them by physician or claim submission status. Note that clearing the submission status will display all claims for the selected physician. You can also select claim files that were previously created if you need to review them or print a submission report. The Days column will show you how many days have passed since a claim submission file was created, helping you track overdue claims.